Hey everybody, welcome to another battle video. Still playoffs going on, and today we have the Denver Ninetales versus the Boston Braviaries. So, big matchup here for those who don't know. A lot of rivalry going on here. Let's get the trophy in here. Still your defending champ. For now, Boston Bravey, Lab Dog here. And let's get right on into the battle. So, these teams did not face this regular season. They faced twice last season. So, very interesting. We actually have the head coach of Tuscaloosa letting us borrow his switch to uh, make this game happen, which is why you will not see my uh, avatar here. You'll be seeing his avatar. But uh, as you can see, uh, Boston brought G Max Hatterene, Butterfree. Hit on top, Galvantula, Colossal, and Melmetal. And Denver bought G Max, Grimmsnarl, Conkelder, Center Scorch, Trevenant, Apaldon, and Alolan Ninetales. So, kind of a little bit of unorthodox team from what they've normally been bringing. So, let's see what's going on. Uh, I don't think Denver's brought Apaldon at all this season. They kind of picked it up late in the season. So, let's see if it works out for them. All right, Boston sends out Butterfree and Hitmontop. And Denver sends out Trevenant and Ninetales. Very interesting. So the Hail's coming up. You can see uh, Aurora Vale. The Intimidate's good against the Trevenant. Stopping the Poltergeist. The uh, Wood Hammers. Let's see what Denver goes for here. Moonblast, and for the Trevenant. Protect. Can't protect your teammates. All right, so there we see a protect. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's the Weirwood protect with the Trevenant. Fake out comes out into the nine tails. Nine tails flinch. Butterfree goes for sleep powder, but it does not connect due to the protect. So basically, everyone did a whole lot. Nothing that turn. I'm going back for another moon blast. We got here. So doesn't want to go for an attack with the Trevenant. Switching out. Switching out into Grimmsnarl. That's a risky move. Bring your G Max in. All right. Then the hit on top gets swapped out for Colossal. Trevenant. Weirwood gets. Walked out here is Fenrir, the G Max Grim Snarl. Risk, these focus stats on the Butterfree and Power Herb on the Colossal. Moonblast comes out into the Colossal slot. Good switch, very minimal damage. Sweet Power comes out. Natty Night. And that's why you don't swap in your G Max. Now we need to count. All right, so let's see. Will she leave Fenrir in here? All right, so it looks like she wants to swap out nine tails. I'm trying to go for an attack burn that first turn of sleep here. That's really strange about swapping into a sleep powder is you have to basically skip a whole turn. You're like skipping two turns, one swapping in and then another on your first turn where you can't wake up. Sleep Powder and a Powder on, Butterfree, throwing out the Z-Quill, Nighty Night. Meteor Beam, 
from the colossal powers up with space power. That's the kind of power I want. And then the power herb. And Fenrir avoids it. Thanks, space power. Space power is just as useful as the space force. That is Steve Carell. All right, so going for a high horsepower into the colossal and another fire punch. Will Fenrir wake up this turn? Hurricane. Big damage and the confusion in the sandstorm. We got hurricanes in the sandstorm. About on. Can't wake up because again it was swapped in. So you get that three turn heat wave. About on avoids it, but Grim Snarl is going to take a lot of damage. That's a plus one colossal there. Hmm. Love to see it, even with the misses. Maybe I should put a wide lens on that boy. Uh, let's see, we got a swap sign in for Fenrir here. He's going after Conkelder. Out on going for the high horsepower again. And Thunder Punch. Oh, daring me there. Mock Punch into the Colossal. This is Iron Fist Life Orb Mock Punch. This thing KOs bulky Tyranitars. What will it do against Colossal here? Looks like Boston's thinking this one over. Mock Punch comes out. Ooh, not quite enough on the Colossal. Hurricane. Big damage. Not a salt vest on this Conkel. There takes it out. Butterfree putting things to sleep. Whipping out Hurricane. Ah, uh, Hapowdon wakes up and gets the knockout with the high force power. Love to see it from Denver's side. Hate to see it from Boston's side. Colossal was robbed. Not get to do what I want to do there. But let's see what Denver sends out here. She's sending out Senescort. This Butterfree still floating around, putting things to sleep. When you don't have a Pokemon that can fake out or outspeed the Butterfree, it can be very annoying. Couple good intimidates there. Now on. What do I want to do here? It's like ice thing into the butterfree. And the sand scorch special. Going for heat wave. Spin fakes out on the Hippowdon. And Butterfree gets the sleep powder off onto the center scorch. So that Butterfree keeping the momentum. And all this weather, we've seen hail, we've seen sand. Out on, getting some leftovers recovery. This Butterfree, though, like Nine Tails has to do something about it. It's being quite annoying. Now, the problem is here is putting things to sleep, but they keep getting swapped in and out. So you're getting like three turns on that sleep. So, oh, Boston making their move, sending out their G Max. And of course, gets swapped out. Back to hail. All the weathers. Weather forever. Sleep powder into the powder. We got Hatterene just came in. Nine Tails just came in. The hail chipping away. Oh, 
I'm not allowed to battle. Let's do it. The Powdon recently banned from BBC. Crazy. Who knew it was such a good model? Blizzard coming out. That should finally take care of the Butterfree. That's exactly what Denver needed. The Powdon stays asleep. And Trick Room is coming. Adarine's setting up its own Trick Room. Love to see it. That hail's chipping away. It's down just at about half. The Powdon don't care. It's got the leftovers staying right there. Hmm. Now remember, this match is to make it to the finals. Boston and Denver. Mel Metal comes out, four turns of trick room left. That's what we want to see. Half of Denver's team is asleep. They all had a hard night partying. They were not ready for this match today. They're all hungover. Leaping in. Here comes Weirwood the Trevenant. Boston, Gigantamaxing, Hattery. Now remember, unfortunately, Denver lost their Gigantamax Pokemon early. They won't have that retaliation factor in the game. Gigantamax Pokemon can be a big catch up. Mustard. Really got a relish in. Hot dog, that's a one hit KO. Listen, guys, I think Boston is on a roll. Cookout, here they come. Double iron bash. Oh, big damage, but the citrus berry activates. Another one comes in. Weirwood just able to hang on. Triggering the harvest and another citrus berry. Is this what Weirwood needs to turn this around? A lot of recovery. Basically earned 50% of its health back in this one turn. Tentascorch coming out, still asleep. It needs to be able to survive and get off one of its strong fire attacks. Oh, it's going for the scorching stand here. Uh, nope. Uh, uh, heat wave. Okay. Going for Poultry guys. Mindstorm comes out. Ooh, send a score, barely hangs on. Bell metal, double iron bash. Takes out the Trevenant. Will the hail knock out send a score? It'll be close. Yeah, so really the trick room brought it all back for uh, Boston, Denver, postseason, played very well, and so it's going to try for another heat wave, nope, maybe, no, scorching sand into the Hatterene, and Blizzard. G-Max Smite comes out, takes out the tennis court. Confusion on the nine tails. And then we see the double iron bash, queen KO on the nine tails. So 
Boston moves on to the finals where they're going to face Tuscaloosa Town Flames in a best of three match. Wow. Just, wow, great job again to Denver. Love to see them. Second time they've made it to the semifinals. Second time that they've lost to your Boston Braviaries in the sec semifinals. And guys, we got to watch this video because we're defending the trophy. Stay tuned. Keep battling.